I know a couple of people read the title and they're like, damn, Tarek, you know, you're being extreme. You know, don't go out to bars and clubs. But what if I want to enjoy myself? What do I what if I want to be around a group of friends and blah, blah, blah? Look, guys, am I saying to completely cut this off? Hey, if you want to hang out with your friends and have a good time and you're a young man or woman, whatever, go ahead. I'm not saying to completely just cut this off because I would be guilty if I said, you know, I'm guilty of this too, of going out to bars and clubs. I think we all are to some extent, okay? But I'm telling you guys, as a whole, as, you know, in the grand scheme of things, as a general umbrella, bars and clubs are useless. They are a waste of time, a waste of money, and a waste of health, okay? These places are really and truly, you know, looking back at it, I'm being retrospective. I'm 34 now. Looking back on it, I would have saved hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, if I would have stayed my ass at home. I would have saved some health if I would have stayed at home. I would have gotten good, more good quality rest. My gains in the gym would have been way better if I would have just stayed home and skipped club and bar nights, which to be honest with you, are a waste of time. They are unproductive. And they if life was a point system, you would definitely take some points off your life. You know, as extreme as it sounds, I'm just being real. And honestly, there's really, I mean, there's no argument that you could give me, right? There's really no argument that you can give me. And I'm going to tell you why. This is Tarek Talks. Let's go. Guys, there's honestly not an argument to my knowledge, okay? And I'm open-minded, right? I'm not saying it's my way or the highway, but if you take a look, if you really take a look at what's going on when you go out to bars and clubs, the cons outweigh the pros, okay? The cons outweigh the pros by a long shot. Let's take a look at what goes on when you go out to these bar and club bars and clubs consistently, frequently, because let me tell y'all something. I used to be on that shit hard. I used to be the club, I used to be the club god, right? Shout out B King, club God, right? I used to be the club. I used to love going to clubs, okay. But let let's let's take a look at what's going on, okay. And just I said that to say this, I'm not telling you guys this from a judgmental standpoint. I've been there, done that. So this is from experience, not judgment. Here's what happens. So you go out to the you free you every weekend. Okay, or some of you guys, damn near every day. Yes, I've known some people that go to bars and clubs, goddamn near every single night, and it was astonishing. You know, it's it, it astonished me, even me. Every single night they will go out to happy hour, bars, clubs, almost every single night. Okay, here's what happens: you get dressed up, right? You're looking good, blah blah blah, all that bullshit. So naturally, with bars and clubs. What is one of the main focal points that is going to happen? You know, what is the focal point of this whole night? Is getting intoxicated. Yes, that is pretty much what revolves around going to bars and clubs. Intoxication. That's probably the main focal point. That's the main thing that everybody is doing. So don't expect anybody that's going out at 10 at night all the way to 3, 4 in the morning to be on anything healthy or productive. Everybody is thawed. Everybody is gone. Everybody is zooted, geeked up. You know, you got one friend right here that's drunk, drunk as a skunk, right? You got this other guy or other girl that's been snorting whatever, you got this other one that's been popping, whatever, God knows what, right? So everybody is off their rocker. Everybody is out of their mind, okay? Your health is taking a huge hit. As I said earlier, if your life 
had a point system, which it which it honestly does. Okay, even though we can't see it, <laughs> your life has a point system, and your points go up or down. They're popping fireworks on Christmas Eve. God damn, they just they be trying to. They be finding any excuse to pop fireworks, dog. It could be fucking Groundhog Day and they popping fireworks. Anyway, so, you know, your health is taking a huge hit, taking a huge ding, right? Your life is taking points off of your life. The choices you make take points. And these points are, the huge part of these points is your health, Okay. And everybody, all the everybody around you is intoxicated beyond belief sometimes. Okay. So here it is. Your health is take everybody's intoxicated. This is number one, what's going on. Number two, I've always been taught this as a, a child. My mama told me this. The more people that you're with, the more possibility it is for something negative to happen. My mama told me this. Show sure enough, I did not listen when I was younger. Show sure enough, you know, that was wisdom from my mama. It is true. Guys, you could bet your bottom dollar, the more people that you're with, especially when you're going out on these uh, late night intoxicated escapades, somebody in that circle is going to end up doing some bullshit, is going to be on some negative type of stuff. And I'm going to tell you this, guys. These people that engage in this type of behavior consistently, going out, clubbing, being intoxicated, doing drugs, all of that bullshit, all of that nonsense, their vibration is extremely low. It has been so many times where I was going on a night out with a group of guys and the aura and the energy was extremely low. It was extremely depressing, right? These dudes, all they were talking about, yeah, man, I got to get some pussy tonight. And, oh, uh, man, and it just come, you know, it just a lot of dark conversations going on. Just real low vibrational, right? Low vibration. Everything is just extremely degenerate. Like, you, there's nothing positive about these people. There's nothing positive about people who are consistently on a consistent basis out here in these streets. Right out here in these streets consistently, nothing positive. And you go out to the bar, you go out to this club, okay, and you're dealing the whole environment is extremely low vibrational. It is extremely depressing. You go out, you go to this this bullshit club, you got a bunch of stuck up holes, right? And the thing about it, it's, the thing about it is the sad part, everybody in the club think they a celebrity. Everybody in the club for that little um, for those little three, four hours, think they the shit until the lights turn on and they have to go to their regular ass apartments and drive their regular ass cars, right? But when you're in there, you know, if you're a male, you got all these holes are stuck up trying to get into a section, right? And hey, look, I don't blame them because all the dudes in there are thirsty as hell. All of the dudes in there are thirsty as hell. You know, you got 10 dudes to to one one bottle, Okay, 10 ninjas to one bottle, right? Split. They had to they had to split the section by 10 ways. Okay. Thirsty as hell for a female. All they've been talking about the whole night is I gotta get this pussy, I gotta get that. Real low vibrational. Okay, so you're dealing the whole the energy of the club, the energy of the bar is very low vibrational. The people are very un- unpleasant okay because like i said earlier everybody's intoxicated everybody in that bar or club thinks they're some kind of celebrity they think they beyonce they think they're a uh, little dirk whatever you know who, whoever the latest rapper is all the females think they meg the stallion all the, the the males think they little dirk or some shit or drake or whatever right On top of that, you staying up till three, four in the morning. Sometimes some people look, man, I've hung out with, with these dudes. They want to stay up till six in the morning, right? Hey, let's go to an after hour spot. And it's already three in the morning. I'm like, bro, I'm going to fuck home. Okay. You staying up. You're just putting, you running your miles up on your body so bad. 
instead of getting a good night's sleep, you out here in the street, stumbling, drunk, high, whatever, just missing out on quality sleep. And if you're thinking sleep, oh, this is this is so minuscule, right? Like he's talking about sleep. What sleep? You know, practice. We talking about practice. If you guys remember that Allen Iverson interview, if you remember that AI interview, type in the question right in the comment section. Let's let's see how many of y'all, you know, saying oh, oh, older heads know what I'm talking about. That old Allen Iverson interview practice, right? You talk. We talking about sleep. Uh, sleep is one of the most important things for a human. It is like your car. It's like trying to run your car on E. Okay. It's like your car. The oil is bone dry in that bitch and you still running it. Your car sputtering, stuttering, stopping, stalling. You know, that's basically you and what you're doing to your body. You running on E, you know, you could tell people that are into this club party life when come Monday, you look at them, they look tired. They look about, they look a couple years older than what they really are. They look older than what they really are. If they're 25, they really be looking 28. They really be looking older because that sleep mixed with and being intoxicated mixed with a poor diet. Because when you out and about, man, at the three in the morning, what the hell are you finna eat? You're not finna eat no chicken and asparagus, okay? You're not you're not gonna eat no lean cuts of beef and salmon. Now nah, you finna eat it, it's some some cheeseburgers and onion rings and chili cheese fries and pizza. You know bullshit. You finna eat bullshit. You're not finna eat nothing of of value. You're gonna eat all of these empty calories. You know what I'm talking about? You're not gonna eat anything good. You're just running your body. Your body is a temple. And what you're doing is, is you're walking into your temple with muddy shoes, dog. You fucking your temple. It's like, it's like you're going in your temple and trashing it. You, you throwing the lamps on the ground. You breaking the bookcases. You're breaking the nice paintings in, inside the temple. You're ripping the pages up of, of the books inside the temple, the holy scriptures. You're just destroying your temple, dog. And you're destroying your mental as well. Because as I stated earlier, when you go in these clubs, it's very low vibrational. And it's going to fuck with your, you know, your your mental psyche. Because your self-esteem is going to take a hit. Because you're, you're going to feel like something wrong with you. Even though all them people inside are damaged themselves. But everybody going to act like they're a celebrity and look down on you. Right, but everybody in there is Beyonce or Lil Dirt. You dig? So that being said, man, I hope this video helped. Peace.